hello everybody welcome back to ugly dog lures so this evening we're starting a whole new journey on uh, shad baits uh, so uh, I'm gonna make all my own colors and we're gonna go from there uh, and we're gonna use glitter and epoxy and leave clear bellies on them If you're new to my channel, I just want to welcome you and say thank you for uh, coming and spending some time with me. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, and share, and let everybody know we're here. And if you have a channel, we go live on Thursday nights at 6 Mountain Standard Time. And if you'd like to be a guest on our channel and you're a fellow YouTuber, we'd love to have you. Uh, just send us an email and set it up with the wife at uh, uglydoglures.com at the website and uh, let's get you out there and get to talking about what you do on your channel it don't matter what it is we don't care so uh, first of all what we're going to do on this we're uh, going to be painting an ass crank and this is my new series that's coming out uh, I actually painted some prototypes and they're already gone. The guy come yesterday or this morning actually and picked them up. He wanted them, and he's got orders in for one of every color that I do or multiples. I'm gonna do this in uh, five different styles of lure. I'm gonna do uh, swim baits. I'm gonna do some jerk baits. I'm gonna do some 2.5s. I'm gonna do some 1.5s, and I'm gonna do some deep diving cranks in this series so uh you know what we're gonna make our own color i'm gonna kind of know what color i'm i'm after so let's just jump in here feet first and get it done we're gonna be using uh paint pigments and to make our own colors and today i have chosen pearl green and that's the color that we'll be using in this particular bait so uh you know what let's just jump in here feet first and get her done or get after it, whichever one you want to talk about. We're going to be using metallic white as our base. So we'll uh, get us a little metallic white up here and we're going to thin it out a little bit. And then we'll add our pigment into it and change the color of it. Okay. So get our little spoon over here. This is our paint pigment. We can get it as light or as dark as we want to. And if you want to further change the color, you can always add a drop of metallic paints or whatever paint you're painting with. Let's get this stirred up really, really good and see if we need to add some more or we're happy with the color. I can tell you right now I'm going to add just a little bit more. I'm going to darken that up just a little. And we'll be using a holographic jitter on this bait also. So, and uh, the holographic glitter is a bigger glitter than I normally use. But when I'm done, you'll see why I did it. So we've got kind of a light green. paint now and that's what I'm after you can look in here and you can see the paint that's exactly what I'm after so uh, let's uh, wipe this off so we can reuse that stick here in a minute and we'll start on some more so we're gonna use our HPCS but let's do what I call is a paint test on this you see how slowly that's coming down that finger? That's a little bit heavy for that gun. So uh, let's add a couple of drops of reducer in there and reduce it down a little bit further. So, like I said, we're leaving the belly clear on this. And we'll be doing two colored baits and a lot of different baits in these paints with that clear belly on them and that uh, holographic. I got three different kinds of holographic glitter. I got a gold, a blue, and a silver. So we'll be using all three of those to make different different patterns. Well, 
Let's pull that up in there. And uh, let's just start laying it on here. And we'll probably do two or three coats on this bait. We're painting down to about the lateral line. That's what we're doing. I'm putting very, very thin coats on this bait. Now we're going to heat set it. Then we'll come back and throw another coat or two on it. Here right quick. Be sure you always get around that nose good. Okay, so there's our top coat on that bait, folks. Let's clean our brush out. Okay, we got our brush cleaned out good. So now, this is the color that we mixed ourselves. Very pretty. So now, we're going to... Uh, heat set this right quick and then we'll find some eyes and we'll put the epoxy on it and add our gold glitter into that and we'll be done with it these are fairly fast baits they're a fun bait to paint and we will be painting quite a few of these baits in different styles there will be some of them that I do that will be a two tone uh, some of them will have a shad dot. I'm just going to do a whole lot of different ones. We're uh, getting ready for uh, bass tournaments around here. So me and the boss lady will be heading off on a lot of weekends. So we're going to try to get a lot of paints done. Uh, and going and setting up at the bass tournaments and selling lures. And may even participate in a few of them. I got guys always asking me if I'll come fish with them. I may just do that. I used to do that a lot as a young man. But, you know, age and kids take a lot more precedence than going to fish a tournament. In uh, this old fart's opinion. 
so we can do these in a variety of different eyes uh, it's just whatever we want to do or however the mood strikes me or we may put red eyes on this one and I may put silver eyes on this one and a black eye on that one and because uh, everybody has their own taste in, in what they like to see uh, there will be some done with gold eyes so we're just going to work them out get them done get them ready to go to the tournament there they are there's old black eye I really need to get something better to keep my eyes in I think I'm going to get me a big notebook here one of these days I think that's the eye we're going to use right there that's kind of where I'm leaning to so let's get them bad boys slapped up on there that's a black red and a silver eye and uh, we'll get them put on there and get this thing epoxied show you what we got when we're done it's pretty cool bait when it's finished and you're actually looking at it you think oh my gosh I can see where his vision went now but I can guarantee you one thing folks my vision went a long time ago There's our eyes on this particular bait that we're working on. Put those up and we'll get rid of this. Drag this over here and get us some epoxy. Cody was out here painting last night, so let me get me another syringe back here. I think he throwed it in the trash instead of washing it out. And this is our getter right here that's going on this bait. Well, there will be a whole series of these folks in different colors. And some of them will have a shad dot, but they're all going to be a clear belly bait. So I hope y'all enjoy this paint. Because we're almost done with it. So this uh, S-crank is going to take one and one on the epoxy. Just letting it run down there a few minutes. What we got her there. Now the hardener. I'm behind with our hardener now, so go just slightly over two because that was about a cc and a tenth of a cc. Okay, now let's add our holographic glitter into this bait. Now we don't want to go too heavy, you know, just enough to get some attention. Give her a good mix. And we'll see if Bob will give us a brush. And we'll brush it on here. Bob's a pretty good fish, so. They don't ever argue with me or nothing. Oh, 
Well, it's like I'm saying, folks, there's going to be a whole series of these baits. Uh, I don't know when the wife will get them up on the website. She don't let me near the computer. One thing about this when you're doing this, folks, is don't let your glitter clump on you. You can actually spread that glitter out better with that brush. And make sure that you go over and over and over that bait with that epoxy. You get a little bit in the eye, all you gotta do is pull it back. Get a tiny bit more in that belly area. Just run it in there and leave it some there. There we go, folks. That's the first one in the series. We made our own color and just went from there. So remember to like, subscribe, and share to the channel. And if you're new here, you know, like I said earlier, welcome. We're glad to have you. And if there's anything or any questions y'all have, please just leave them in the comments below. Uh, I've got a whole series of this bait coming out. So there'll be watermelon, there'll be black ones, there'll be all kinds of colors in this. So uh, it's been a real pleasure to do this paint with y'all. So I hope everyone has a really blessed day. We'll catch you later.